Hi everyone, my name is Frank Bloxberg. I'm Chief Instructor of Aikidoka in Grass Valley, California. That's me training at my dojo during a seminar that Frank Duran Sheehan gave. And here's a photo of Michael Friedel Sensei, Chief Instructor of Aikido of Ashland. Friedel Sensei is President of the California Aikido Association and a sixth degree black belt. The picture was taken at the same Duran Sensei seminar as my picture. And Sensei is my direct Aikido teacher. He is, in my opinion, as fine a fellow and teacher as one is ever likely to meet. Michael Sensei and I are co-hosts for the upcoming Aiki Summer Retreat 2013 in Quincy, California. That will be June 23rd through 29th. If you haven't registered for camp yet, please do. It's going to be an absolutely amazing event. As you can see, the link for registering for camp is joinaikido.com slash aiki hyphen summer hyphen retreat hyphen 2013. And if you don't want to type all that in, I don't blame you, just go to Google, type in aiki summer retreat and you'll find it. It'll be right there at the top. On Thursday, March 25th, 2013, Michael Friedel Sensei and I had a conversation during a webinar. Neither of us had ever done a webinar before, and so it didn't go as smoothly as it might have, though it was really fun and, and, and it was actually pretty good. One of the problems was that I forgot to start the recording until well into the, uh, the webinar, so we don't have the first part of it, and I'm really sorry about that. Another fun little issue was that Michael Sensei was out of town on that day, so he had to go to a coffee shop and use their wireless to be able to do the um, the webinar, and so his connection wasn't the greatest. We lost him, we had him, we lost him. But anyway, you'll see, we have a nice time, and I hope you do too. Listen, we're gonna do a bunch more of these webinars and get better at them. I will do interviews with the retreat instructors and also hopefully some really fun and interesting people who will be attending. And um, I hope that you get something out of them. Keep your eyes open, please, for when we'll be doing these webinars because you'll be able to uh, partake and ask questions and make comments, and it'll be fun. Better yet, if you go to the Ike Summer Retreat webpage, you'll be able to sign up for updates, so we'll tell you when those are coming along. So anyway, without any further ado, here is the webinar caught in progress or not you know not training you could like to do other things too and no one really pressured you and um and, then, and that's how it is now i mean we're in a really incredible setting in the sierras and you know there's hiking and there's the community there's a lot of lakes and fishing and stuff it, it's just it's gorgeous so you know you can do that as a vacation plus the immersion of aikido and having wonderful people to train with of all levels and i and i think the quality of the instruction is really high caliber that you know you're you're gonna you're, you're gonna get some really wonderful instruction and people that really um really have a um have a incredible dedication to Aikido and want people to learn and so I think it's a it's a wonderful opportunity and, and I know for myself um whenever I go to something for intensely for that week I come back and I I have that feeling of enthusiasm and just a renewal for several months and and it's um it's, it's nice to tap into that, and uh, like like you said, Frank, it's um you have the chance to train with so many different people, and and whether they be beginners or intermediate or advanced people, and and everyone's real generous and kind, and you can ask questions, and and you know you can be in a cafeteria and you can sit next to someone who's you know a sixth son who has been doing Aikido for forty years, and you can ask them questions and they'll answer, you know, and then they'll, they'll they'll talk to you and. It's wonderful. It, that's absolutely true. You know, I was uh, third Q or some such thing when I started going to camp, and I had questions for everybody, and I sat down at lunch, and this guy sat down next to me. I didn't know who he was yet, um, cause we're right, right at the beginning, and it turned out to be um, Nado Shihan, a direct student of O-Sensei. And, um, you know, that's hard to believe, <laughs> but it's so. And, and you know... Um, you and I have been training together now for a long time, and that relationship started at, at camp. And um, 
so many other friends that I have. Uh, it's from camp. But you know what? I have a question here from Gideon. It says here, um, Michael Sensei, how long you train in Hambu Dojo? Well, I know the answer to that question. And um, or, or was, did you actually train at Hambu, and who did you train under, and did you Ushideshi there or somewhere else? And then lastly, any, oh, any, uh, okay. any brief fun little stories from Japan. So that's Gideon. Uh, okay. um, well, yeah, I, 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 I trained in Hambu Dojo uh, several different times, but I actually did a Ushideshi on a friendship in uh, Iniwama and was with Saiki Sensei and uh, was there um, for a year and a half and um, and part of that was majority of that was as Yuchi Deshi and then a little bit of that I did as a Soto Deshi and outside Deshi before I left to come back home and uh, but during that time I did go to Hombu Dojo several times and my sponsor because I had an educational visa I had a sponsor who lived in Tokyo and did Aikido and was directly affiliated with Hombu Dojo so whenever I'd go into Tokyo to see him I would go with him to train at Hombu Dojo, and so I got to train with Waka Sensei, and at the time, and then uh, Second Doshu, and and a uh, variety of teachers, and so um, at, and outside of that, just also being totally immersed as an a, an apprentice to Saito Sensei, where we just lived at the dojo, and you yeah, you train there, I don't know, anywhere from five to eight hours a day, most most times with Sundays on. Well, Sundays you train in the morning for a couple hours, and you had the rest of the day off. So it was an intense experience, and um, let's see, stories from Japan. I was trying to think of what might be kind of interesting. Um, and, and only things some, you can share online. online. Oh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, only only things we we want to share with with young minds and all of that. Well, your your weapons <laughs> your weapons training really comes from your experience in Japan uh, with Saito Sensei, correct? It does, you know, like I, I, my, that's my basis for that, and then from there I came home, and then, of course, over the years I've looked at it and, and modified it, changed it, did it what made sense to me, and then looking at it with other, how other people do their weapons as well, and, and thinking about it. So it's a lot of, you know, your, your Aikido, you know, you get that initially from people, and then you start to, as you get better, you start to change it and own it for yourself and, and make sense of it, and so um, that's what I've done with my weapons training and also my Taijutsu. So let's talk a little bit, please, about um, this upcoming camp, the instructors that are going to be there, and maybe you can tell us a little bit about about them to the extent that you know. Uh -huh. um, and so we've got you, of course, and we've got Thursday evening, Robert, excuse me, Thursday is Robert Nado Shihan, and Friday is Frank Duran Shihan. And then we've got um, Craig Five Sensei and, Ri and Kimberly Richardson Sensei and um, Greg O'Connor Sensei. This is an amazing lineup. It, it really is. Yeah, I feel real lucky. I, I, you know, Nato Sensei and Duran Sensei, they both agreed to, to come to the camp for a day each to, to help support us and you and I and, and in terms of co-hosting. And uh, I think this is, is, is wonderful. And, and, of course, they're... Most people know who they are and their ability to speak for themselves and how dedicated they have been to Aikido and, and uh, um, which wonderful teachers they are. And, um, and being my, you know, Duran Sensei being my teacher and also certainly having a relationship with Nado Sensei and learning from him. And let's see, with uh, Craig Pipe Sensei, he's uh, in Portland and he's with Division 2 under Duran Sensei and he and I have been, gosh, best friends for, oh, Lots and lots of years, and um, he's a you know six down. His Aikido is really beautiful, and uh, yeah, he's a really good person, and really jazzed about Aikido, and a, a, a masterful teacher. Um, he's an extraordinary. He goes back all. Yeah, he's an extraordinary I mean, teacher and a great, great guy. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah, and we both ride Harley's, so that helps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's see. Uh, and Kimberly Richardson Sensei, um, she's from Seattle and has two cranes Aikido. And I have to say, most of the people that go to her dojo agree it's one of the most beautiful dojos you would ever see in your whole life. It is just a magnificent, beautiful dojo to be at. Oh, I've not and, been there. Um, yeah, but and she is she's she's wonderful. She's a really great great person, a talented teacher, a, a, a really talented Aikidoist. Um, 
She has a foundation. She really does a lot with kids. She's authored a book recently about a, a child, uh, student, one of her, her young students who's like uh, eight or nine years old and is experienced with Aikido and bullying and stuff. Um, she's, uh, she's able to train across many different affiliations and just, um, just has a really, really big heart. And, and so it was exciting to invite her to come and, and be part of the teaching committee this year. And then Greg O'Connor Sensei, he's uh, from New Jersey. He has um, Aikido schools in New Jersey, and he's uh, he's got several schools that are under him. And um, he used to be part of USAF under Yamada Sensei, and it's just then kind of split off and is doing his own thing. And again, I've known Greg for a long time, uh, most of my Aikido career in, on the East Coast. And uh, he, again, is uh, really passionate about his Aikido. He's a very talented teacher. and I, you know, as an Aikidoist, he's got some really beautiful technique, and he's traveled extensively around the world as well, and has a close relationship with um, with people in France and uh, and uh, just uh, Francis Takashi Sensei in the United States, and is just um, really really enjoys just having people um, learn Aikido and spread the word. So that's yeah. our lineup, and uh, it's, I, uh, we're going from East Coast to West Coast. We're blending. We're we're going across the affiliations because Kimberly Richardson Sensei is with uh, Mary Heine Sensei, and then of course uh, Big Fight Sensei is with Duran Sensei, and I myself I'm with Duran Sensei, and then we have uh, Greg O'Connor Sensei, who has is currently independent but has been with uh, Imada Sensei and other people on the East Coast, and so it's a good connection of just a lot of different people coming together to to um, harmonize and blend and and sharing the experience and spread Aikido. The, the breadth of the teaching is just really something else. I mean, each one of these teachers is an absolutely superb, high-level instructor. And um, I can hardly wait. <laughs> I mean, par par part of my agreeing with you as to who we were going to have at camp was, well, how am I going to have the most fun? And in fact, that was part of our, our calculus. Who do we really want to hang out with? Who's going to be really, really fun to train with and be with? And these are the people. And it's going to be an absolute blast. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so <laughs> I and have I a... Also, in terms of this, you know, oh, go ahead. One more thing about this, too, yeah. is, you know, it's a generation coming up, too. Like, Duran Sensei and Nado Sensei are from a generation that's, that's before me. And then, and then this next generation is coming up to, you know, step up and... And fill in, fill in some of the gaps, and and to help in leadership of the community, and so that's that's, right. that's what we're hoping to do. Yeah. So so I have a question here, that um, is kind of one of those you had to be there things. But here's the question: so Whoever is asking it is not admitting to. It. Let me see if I can figure it. Uh, I don't know who is asking it. Um, it says Michael Sensei. I hear you do a nice twinkle twinkle little star. Can you talk about that? Um, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a um, yo yo ma wannabe, uh, being a, trying to be a cellist. And so a couple, I don't know, a few retreats ago, I don't know, maybe five years ago, Ali Hanjo and I uh, teamed up and did cello and theremin. We were trying to do a comedic act, even though we're known to be comedians at times, but we were actually practiced this. And the theremin and the cello together, and you can see Alejandro with one arm trying to do a theremin. And me, who, um, you know, I have some challenges with my musical uh, ear, let's say. And so, um, <laughs> but we got up on stage, and everything that could go wrong could go wrong. Um, but we, we tried, and we uh, played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and everybody seemed to laugh their hearts out, and we thought we were making music. <laughs> It, it was. And so I remember specifically, <laughs> and then you coming up to me afterwards and saying to me, after I'm just like in a pile of sweat because I'm so scared because I never play in front of people, and he, you said, that is the funniest thing I have ever seen and heard, and, and we were trying to be funny. <laughs> I, are you saying that I said that to you? Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it was so funny, you guys. It was so funny that we were literally crying in the audience. It, it, it was impossibly out of tune. I've never heard anything remotely like it. And you know, I do have a video of that. Um, so <laughs> maybe I'll be able to get you to convince me, uh, maybe I'll be able to get you to allow us to put that online, but I don't know. It is, it yeah. is 
Yeah. Heart stopping. Oh my goodness. It's, One of it's the funny things is, is many, many years ago, uh, people come up to me whenever they're doing Aiki Follies and they always are saying they'd like to do it with me because I don't seem to get embarrassed by much, you know. <laughs> um, so now what I want to do... Sometimes I think I have a really good act when I don't, you know. What I want to do is try to find his, my thing that I worked out didn't work and so um, I'm going to try to run a slideshow that um, that shows a few pictures of where we'll be doing camp. Yeah, oh, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, and like I said, like I was saying before, the the, the area is just gorgeous, and this. Oh, yeah. Did we lose you? So, the of the college is just nestled right in. Uh oh, that... it's, it sounds like we might be losing you. Go ahead and try again. Michael, you there? No. I can't really hear you. Um, so anyways, folks, I'm going to try to find this um, slideshow. That's not it. Oh, no. So, um, Michael, can you hear me? Can I hear you? I can hear you, uh-huh. Okay, we can hear you can now. Hear so go ahead and, and, and dominate the conversation for a while while I try to make this work. <laughs> Definitely the conversation. So, um, in terms of the camp, I think that there's apartment living. It's it's um, the, 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 we met the chef, and the chef promises to have some some good food and for people who are vegan or vegetarian or meat eaters, so we can cover that. Um, so we're doing our best on the food end. We know that's really important to people, and uh, we have linens now and everything, so we score those, so you don't have to like. You have the dojo's it. full with them. They just yeah. arrived. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, can you see? Um, oh, good, good. Okay. Yeah, so there it is. Yeah, there's a There yeah. it is. There's the gymnasium. Here it is. And so we'll fill that up with mats. And this is the dining hall. And it's really nice. And the uh, chef is super cooperative, and we're going to have wonderful food. I'm still stuck on one slide for some reason. It's not coming true on my end. Um, well, let me ask other yeah. folks. Let me see. Yes, other I know if it's for them. I have, I have just one slide. It's the one of us far away. Oh. Hey, you guys, anybody else tell me? Say, um, run upstairs or raise your hand or write, write me a note or something. Can you see others? Oh, it's one slide here too, Rochelle says. Bueno. Okay, how's that? Do you have Gabriel? Now, yep, we moved once so far. Yep. There's and there's you guys line. waiting. And and do you yeah. have do you have the picture of the gymnasium now? Oh, Rochelle says yes, it's working. Uh, Michael Sensei, can you can you see it? Well, anyway, to, for everybody, here is the. Oh, there's. Michael Sensei and Gabriel and Rochelle okay. eating lunch. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And this is the view from the dining hall over to the gymnasium, right across there. Um, this is the Feather River, a little spot of it. And oh, right there, you may not be able to tell what, these, uh, what this is, but this is a whole bunch of butterflies that were right by the river and um, chased Gabriel out of there. There's just another view from the school. And there's Gabriel again. So I think maybe we've lost my say. I don't know. Um, but what I'll do is I will see if anybody wants to say something here. Um, I don't see anybody. Raise your hand. You pre press the hand raising. Oh, you know what? Brandon Wolf is here. Let me, let me turn on your microphone. Brandon, are you there? Brandon, can you hear me? Brandon? Me? Yeah, you, Brandon. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Brandon. Hi. Hi, how are you? On. Your microphone is on. Very well. Nice. Yeah. And my, nice and my, go ahead, talk. I'm on too, I think. Am I on? Yeah, yeah, you are. Okay, well then, well, while I'm on here, maybe I'll ask a question of Michael Sensei, and I'm curious, maybe oh. if you could talk a little bit about how his relationship to Duran Sensei began and maybe 
uh, talk in more general terms about what uh, he might suggest to his students as far as what the relationship between a student and teacher should be and what, what you're looking for in a teacher. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good stuff. Wow, that's a, that's a good one. Let's see. I start, I, uh, my first summer camp that I ever went to, I was, I was, from, uh, I was living in Ashland, Oregon. I signed up for the uh, Ike Summer Retreat in San Rafael and didn't know anything about anybody because I had been on the East Coast and with USA Up. And um, so I go to this summer retreat and uh, show up at San Rafael and not knowing a soul. And that was Duran Sensei, Nado Sensei. I think uh, Terry Dobson Sensei was teaching. Uh, Bruce Clickstein was teaching. Um, Bill Witt Sensei was teaching. I think those five for sure. And um, and so I, I, I was doing the camp. And, and what Duran Sensei did all the time um, after his class was he would throw people for about a half hour. You would line up and he'd throw you for each person for about a minute or so and go on to the next person. And so I got in the line. I took Ukemi for him. and. Um, it was really fun and didn't know him. And then the next day, um, he called me up Ruki a couple of times uh, during his class. And then uh, by the middle of the week, he was using me quite a bit with his other people and um, for Ukemi. And so that was pretty cool because I didn't, you know, I didn't know him and, and that. And was it, I didn't actually approach him at the cafeteria or anything either. I was a little intimidated. And then uh, at the end of the week, um, I was going to my car and uh, he caught me before I left camp, and he asked me, um, he asked me what rank I was and who my teacher was and everything, and uh, he asked me why I had not taken any more tests and stuff. And um, so I told him that you know my teacher on the East Coast, and and so uh, so he uh, he he asked me if I would want to um, be his student. And so, uh, and then uh, from there, uh, and, and that he would like to, for me to take a test, and, and we talked about that too. And so that's how I became Duran Sensei's student was through the summer camp. And um, and I just and, and for me when I saw him, I just I just liked what he did. I just liked who he, who he is. I, I was just really attracted to him, his, his personality, and just how he handles himself, and you know, um, just just his, his values and everything. And so, um, so yeah, so I've been with. Sensei ever since the beautiful thing that he said to me was, your sensei is Clyde Takeuchi sensei and he's on the East Coast, so you need, to, you need to talk to him first and see if maybe we can share you or something. And that's what we did the rest of the time. So I became the Ren Sensei student as well as continued with Clyde Takeuchi sensei. And, and that in itself told me that, wow, he wasn't trying to steal oh, no. anybody from anyone. He was really long on the right keto, which is really cool. And let's see, in terms of what to look for in a teacher, um, I think, uh, I think uh, you look for someone who really you know, speaks to you from the heart. And so when you're practicing, oh no. It's not just so Michael Sensei, your, your micro, your connection is making a terrible noise. I just turned him off for a moment. Hey, Brandon, you still there? Brandon? I'm still here. Maybe yeah. I'll um, share a story. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hang Maybe on. I'll share a story about Michael Sensei? Uh, well, hang on. I, I have Michael Sensei's microphone turned off right now um, because it was making so much noise. Let me see if I can turn it back on and see what happens. Michael Sensei, are you there? I'm there now, yeah. Okay, so Brandon, Brandon wants to share a story about you. <laughs> so go ahead, about Brandon. Me? Oh no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is it clean? Yes, it's a great yeah. story. It's a, it's 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 a really fond memory that I have of Michael Sensei that uh, maybe other people might appreciate in the audience as well. Yeah, great. Uh, about a, about a year ago at the uh, Aikido of Eugene celebration for a uh, uh, Chuck Sensei, I had a nice conversation with Michael at the end of it. Where I was expressing some of the. Uh, difficulties I was having with finding a job and just the process of the job search that I had been involved in in a long time and he offered some very uh, choice advice that really stuck in my mind where he said that uh, you know I've been trying to to approach too directly I was I was approaching the problem straight on and what I needed to do was try and find a, a, a back door to slip into and as soon as I got home I had about uh, three interviews lined up and I had a really good headspace going into those and within a couple of weeks, I had a, a job that I'm very happy with. And I've always thought back to that moment of, of a connection with Michael Sensei as being a kind of a, 
a good omen or a good signal or that uh, maybe a superstition, obviously it is, but uh, maybe there's something else to it there as well. So I, I really appreciated that moment. Well, thank you. Thank you, Brandon. That's nice. <clears throat> Michael Wonderful Sensei advice, so thank you for that. Yeah, Michael Sensei is, is extremely supportive, and he's a very, very good friend. I mean, we have a, have quite the close relationship, and um, I, I have trouble believing my good fortune, to be perfectly honest, my good fortune of having Michael Friedel Sensei as my teacher and my friend. Um, and so I, I don't know um, what stories I might want to might want to share on this about um, about sensei um, but anyway let's see what what else oh yeah so anyway so um, Brandon have you signed up yet for camp you know I think I'm working all through the summer and I might be able to sneak up for a day but I don't know it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be tough I'm 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 teaching classes all the way through the summer and I really want to go, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, unfortunately, sadly. It's well, we'll have to figure out how to make that happen. Well, you, so um, let's see if I can make this other thing up here to show everybody um, who might watch this. Okay, cool. So there's – can you see the um, register for Ike Summer Retreat at this, at this link? Can you guys see that? Yeah, I see that. Anybody? Yeah, I see that. All I right, see sweet. It, yeah. Oh no, the sense has turned. His microphone's turned off again. Yes. Are you I there? Well. Okay, wonderful. Uh -huh. so, so I'm so sorry that I'm so very bad at this, but it's my first pass, and um, and and. Oh no, this is good though. Yeah, this is sweet. I did remember to turn on the recording um, halfway through. So all the good stuff. Uh -huh. oh. Anybody listens to this and they think it's. Nothing important happened. It's just because I hadn't started the recording yet. The secrets of Aikido are all in the part that didn't get recorded. That's, that's probably good. It keeps people coming back. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, so you know what? Um, Brandon, I'm turning your microphone off. If nobody else wants to raise their hand to um, say something, then um, we're going to sign off. And um, it was fun. Thank you, Sensei. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Frank, for this opportunity. I think uh, thank you for putting it together and all your hard work. Uh, um, Frank's done an incredible job of just organizing and getting this college together and everything. And I, I just feel honored to be part of this and working with him. And uh, yeah, I think call hosting is going. It's going to be a blast. And I encourage you to to please come and then support it. And it's a, it's an event that you can kind of um, help develop. We're very open to. A lot of ideas, and and you know, in in future future um, retreats, we can we can, you know, do it all kinds of different ways. We have a lot of ideas, so it doesn't have to stay the same all the you know the same for the next you know twenty true. years or so. True, true. We're really open um, to all the different ideas, and so with that, Sensei, thank you so much. Good evening, and um, I'll speak to you thank soon. You. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. Good night. Bye. Bye.